LXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2021, Question 2. The functions f and g are defined by f of x equals 7 minus 2x squared and g of x equals 3x over 5x minus 1. For part a, we need to state the range of f. So the range is all the values that f of x can take. So looking at how it's set out, we've got 7 minus 2x squared. But x squared has got to be positive. So 2x squared is always larger than or equal to 0 which means that seven minus two x squared must be smaller than or equal to seven, because we've got a seven taking away something that's larger than or equal to zero, which means that f of x is smaller than or equal to seven. For part b, we need to find g, f, 1.8. So when dealing with functions of functions, we always find the function next to the bracket first. So f of 1.8, that's gonna be equal to seven, minus two times 1.8 squared, which is 0.52. We can then put this into G. So G of F of 1.8 is gonna be equal to G of the 0.52 that we've just found. So three times 0.52 over five times 0.52 minus one, giving us an answer of 0.975. Part C, we need to find the inverse of G of X. So to do this, we're going to write g of x as y equals 3x over 5x minus 1. We're now going to rearrange this to make x the subject. So let's multiply the bottom of the fraction up. So we get y times by 5x minus 1 equals 3x. Expanding the left gives us 5xy minus y equals 3x. If we add y to both sides now and take away the 3x, so as to get all the x's together on one side, we have 5xy minus 3x equals y. Factorizing out the x is x times 5y minus 3 equals y. And then dividing through by that bracket gives us that x is equal to y over 5y minus 3. Now we've rearranged it to make x the subject, we're going to rewrite our g inverse x as the fraction we've just found here, but replacing the y's with x's. So the inverse gx equals x over 5x minus 3. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.